Hello everybody, good morning. So today I am trying the coffee with the lemon to help reduce water weight. Cause like for the past month, I have been eating things that I know I shouldn't eat. And I went from weighing 173 back to 179. So I gained nine pounds, which is really my fault. Uh, however, I do have a, um, let me turn my camera. I do have um, a regiment that I use. I have a Faja because I got my body sculpted thanks to Exquisite Curves. And this Faja is a medium size, which is really, really good for me because the large will probably be just a little bit too big. However, um, as you can see, like it kind of rounds the buttocks and it sucks in all of that fat stuff. And I like it. I really like it. It is um, really good for working out and things of that nature. However, um, my body was a lot slender last month. Um, I'm working on it, guys. You know, it is a work in progress when you're trying to get healthy and get your body uh, where you want it to be. So, I'm working, guys. And, um, yeah, next month I will be... 46 years old if the Lord say the same so you know I'm, I'm I'm excited about that as well and I'm just focusing on this new adventure that I'm on um I do have some stuff that I want to share with you guys later on but right now I'm just kind of like doing a little vlogging I'm gonna be going out hanging out later on today and let's just say that I'm hoping that this coffee Excuse me. Doesn't hit me in a different way. We all know what that means. Um, I'm going to wear my Faja all day today. Because you know what I noticed too? Like when losing weight. The worstest thing about losing weight is that like my butt. It was just so nice. You know. And then when I started losing weight. It was just like blue. Everything. Like even my arms. You know. I got a lot of excess fat. But you know what? I'm not ashamed of that. Because I am working on me. You know. Once I get my body to a place where I want it to be then I could go ahead and start toning things up like you know um I was doing this what do you call them the crunches I was doing that like on a daily basis but I stopped I got lazy I got depressed anxiety kicked in and I was thinking like why would you stop doing those things because I noticed that you know when I was doing exercise I had a lot more energy I was a lot more positive I was a lot more motivated and that's what we want. You know, we want to be motivated every day to do whatever it is we need to do in our lives. You know, so I said, you know what, girl, it's time for you to get back up. Even when it's hard, you know, I may not get up and do exercise, but let me get up and do some kind of regimen like the coffee with the lemon in it. Something to help reduce the water and stay away from starchy foods and fried foods and things of that nature, which I was doing really well with but i kind of got a little scared when i started losing too much weight because it's like um my butt was just like literally you guys I, when i looked at my butt i was just like oh wow what's going on <laughs> i wanted to lose the fat in my waist but not in my butt you know we all want to keep that little pop back there you know because it just looks so weird you know but it's okay, though, you know. Y'all know I can be two different ways. I can be uh, all over the place, and I can be organized. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about being able to multitask and do a lot of things that you know, you know, that you can do. And um, sometimes I get off subject. That's my main thing that I want to correct. I don't like being like that, you know. I want to stay in tune with me. I want to stay in tune with my body. I'm trying to keep everything on a up and up perspective you know what i'm saying i'm working on getting my skin back together because the weirdest thing happened to me when i turned 40 i had a complete breakout and when i say breakout i mean break out i had bumps on my face dang near bigger than my finger and i'm just like Ooh, what is this from you know where's this coming from and so it caused me to have like a lot of um dark spots and craters and I'm happy to say that I've been using this oatmeal scrub that has really been helping really, really good with the craters and the dark spots. I have the dark spots still a little bit, you know, but thanks, thank God to, what is it, Fenty, um, Rihanna's Fenty makeup. 
it has saved my life. You know, it's like I could cover up these blemishes and stuff that I don't like. You can still see them a little bit, but you know what? It's not nothing major. I'm not a TV star. I'm not an actress. You know, I'm not a, a celebrity or anything. So I don't really be tripping off of just being looking just perfect. But I do, you know, um, like to keep myself up. Um, I'm 45 years old and I'm just working on me guys. You know what I'm saying? My kids are grown. I raised them and now it's me time. And you know what? It's kind of hard getting back into the groove of things. Is anybody else feeling like that? Have anybody, is, is there anybody else out there my age that feels like that? You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't prepared like I thought I would be, but honestly, I'm not. I'm honestly not prepared. So it's like, where do I go now? You know, I've raised my kids. And um, what's the next step? You know, and, and so that's been a little confusing. I think that's kind of what pushed me into that depression zone. Because I'm sort of sitting here thinking, you know, I'm, I, I, didn't, I didn't accomplish some things. Don't get me wrong. But it's still like a stagnant decision on which direction I want to go in, you know. But I thank God every day for the will to be able to get up and want to do it. Not saying that. Every day I feel that way. You know, I have been going through some tremendous, tremendous, tremendous stress. You know, just trying to pull everything together and get back in order. And things sometimes get out of whack. But you know what? I have a higher power watching over me just like we all do. And it's just that fight and will in me that keeps me going. And I'm so grateful for it because you know what? God is the answer to the key of everything. He He solves all the problems and all the he has all the answers. And I'm learning that patience with patience and time, things will eventually get better. I can already see things getting better. Even though things are really bad right now for me, I am so grateful to be able to say today things are really getting better, you know, I, and, and, and I can't explain how they're getting better. I guess all I could do was just show myself how they're getting better and point out little things and kind of like, you know, go down my list of goals and say, okay, I'm working towards this. I'm working towards that. And that, that makes me feel like things are getting better and they're going to get better, you know? So if there's ever a doubt in your mind that, you know, you're just losing yourself, just take a day off of everything. And you know what helps me ease my mind? What helps keep me from thinking is watching TV because I don't watch a lot of TV. I really don't. I could be in my room all day or I can be home all day and I'll be on social media doing videos, different little things, cooking, cleaning, trying to keep myself busy. And then I'll realize like, Okay, I'm a little overwhelmed. One thing that always, 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 always gives me back that peace is just paying attention to something else. So it's good to read a book, um, watch a movie, exercise. I don't have the will every day to get up and exercise. So what I do is I just, I put on me a good movie. My favorite show is Law and Order. And thanks to Hula, I can watch Law and Order all day and night. You know, I can fall asleep watching Law and Order, get back up and start watching it again if that's what I want. But it helps take my mind off of things. You know what I'm saying? And when your mind is clear, it kind of gives you the uh, perspective the perspective that you need to go in the direction that you need to do, you know, that you need to go or which way you want to go or to even give you new ideas about what to do. So um, with that being said, as long as you have the will in you to continue to fight this thing we call life, just keep going. You know I mean? I, I mean, sometimes it could be um, a real, real problem, you know, because it's hard to obtain, um, that saneness when you're going through a depression, you know, and I, I've realized that I never really knew how hard depression could be until I was actually in it. So now, um, when I have good days, I think it's just good to come and talk to you guys and give you guys some of my techniques and let y'all know how I blew over with all of this stuff. You know, what helped me overcome a lot of things and what's helping me grow, what's helping me understand that things do get stagnant sometime and that it's just probably us transitioning or wanting to transition into a different, you know, um, profession, a uh, different, um, um, I don't know what it could be, a different, just a different mindset, period. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is with me. And I feel too, guys, the older we get, the more our mind will expand. So, you know, we're always going to feel some type of way when we're in this transition because it's like our mind is growing and we're trying to go in different directions to pull us up and also put us on different tracks so that we can enjoy our lives that we have you know so thank you guys for coming to my channel and checking me out i know it's been a slow long progress but guess what i realized i'm not gonna give up and even if i'm not you know what i'm saying uh i don't have the subscribers that i need in order to get to where a lot of people is i'm not trying to be like everybody else i'm trying to be like me and i'm moving along at my own pace so you know that's the beauty of doing you you know, so don't ever let nobody try to make you feel bad about where you are in life because we got to start somewhere. And the beautiful thing is that you started. So thank you guys for coming. Have a blessed weekend. And I will be back with another video. Smooches.